Well, I wish you'd look at these pretty flowers. Look at this one. Ain't that pretty? Pretty. Well, you can tell what I'm doing. I'm stopping to smell the roses. <laughs> I know these ain't roses, but I'm uh, stopping to smell the flowers. Uh, it's gonna have some new ones coming out here pretty soon. Look at that. I don't know what they're named, but they sure are pretty. You can see where I'm at. That was the corner. I took the pictures the other day. I made a video, you know, talking about the flowers. But, uh, man, these cars be flying down this road sometimes. Sometimes people drive normal, normal speed. Sometimes they don't. I don't know exactly what broke that, but I, it might have been a car. I don't know. But, um, you know where I'm at when you see all this. I, that's, I think it's hidden. I go that way. So I go down to where the, the sign is and I turn, Hidden Valley. As you can tell if you watch my videos, I'm not good at names. And, um, and being dyslexic, um, I don't hold uh, letters. All I see is when I think of Hidden Valley, I, you know, I couldn't spell it if I tried right now, but I, I see letters in, in, in the form of pictures. So it makes spelling really difficult. Not complaining, it's a gift. Dyslexia, in my case, is a real gift. And I'm happy to be able to, you know, um, share that there are people that have overcome having dyslexia in profound ways. I made a, a blog page, I'll put a link in the description about it, Famous People with Dyslexia. It's been out there for years, it's, it attracts a lot of attention. Every now and then I have school teachers and uh, people that work in the, in the field of dyslexia call me and ask me questions and ask me for advice, ask me how to motivate children that have dyslexia. And I'm going to be right honest, if a young person has a, a talent and a gift, they need to actually be making YouTube videos because there is money to be made for these young people on YouTube. Sure to take five years, but it's like money in the bank. Once it starts, once once you hook an audience and you start, you know, to these little kids, young people I'm talking to, yes, you, you if you like making videos and you've got a talent and you've got a, a ability to make videos and, and talk about your life in such a way that you help people and edify, you know, your story, yes, you can make money, but you can't be willing to do it fast. I, it's taken me years to get up to, I'm almost to 10,000 subscribers, and I have a lot of videos online, so they're evergreen videos. That means they always have a life. Now, some of them are just about one story, and that's it. So I've learned uh, through tips and tricks how to make uh, the blog page uh, work with the videos and what it takes to actually do the social media part of it to get the word out about any subject actually and so I cover on my YouTube channel I cover all if you see my videos you see I, I cover a huge gamut health and uh, losing weight you know, riding the bicycle kiteboarding uh, men's health in general and yeah, it's, it's, I'd encourage any person that has the gift of making videos, uh, even if you don't think they're good. Some people say my videos are kind of corny, and they're, you know, they're like, they're like incomplete works of art. <laughs> but that, you gotta, you, you gotta take it all in a, in a big chunk. You know, you just can't fall in love with just one of my videos. You gotta, you gotta keep wanting to come back and see what I'm gonna talk about next. I've scratched like an iceberg, let's say it like that, the tip of an iceberg as far as the potential and uh, the types of videos that I could really make and, and really tell interesting stories. So there, there's all kinds of ways to uh, see the uh, dyslexia as a gift. So that's, that's what my theme is today. Dyslexia is a gift. <laughs> All right. Thank you, man.